I grew up with my mother in inner city Boston and my dad uh, moved to Maryland. During that time, my mother, uh, as most young girls do, found the wrong guy to <laughs> hang out with and he became my stepfather. Um, I guess the first time um, I remember him hitting me, we had my mom's um, eye pen, you know? little crayon pen, it looked like a crayon. And we lived in an apartment and my brother and I were writing on these tiles on the floor. And as I'm down there trying to scrub it off, it wouldn't come off. And I'm five, I'm not gonna be able to get it off anyway. But uh, he punts me like a football. He just kicks me as hard as he can. That was the first time he actually put his hands on us and my mom came out screaming because it's I think it's the first time she had seen him put his hands on one of us and it's the first time I saw him hit my mother. So that became the norm. Uh, welts all up and down your arms and cuts and bruises and scrapes until I was about 10, 10 or 11. It's hard to ask for help, just asking for help in general. But asking for help in that situation is really hard, um, especially for a child because you are, you're going against your parents. Like you are, you're putting your parents in harm's way. It's pretty much what you're doing. And no matter what they do to you, no matter what my stepfather did to me, I still call him dad. So they sent me to live in Maryland and I thought I was going for the summer and probably maybe a week later all my clothes arrived. And then I realized I was not going back and she's like, you're not coming back to the city. She sent me to live with my dad and it saved my life. It's the reason why I'm here today. Um, I do know that if someone would have intervened earlier, there are a lot of decisions, a lot of mistakes that I made in my life that I would not have made. And just the fact that I went you know, 30 years thinking there was something wrong with me. You kind of put that stuff down inside and I guess it started kind of coming back out when I started having kids. And you start thinking about how you're going to discipline your kids and, and um, you don't, you're like, I'm never hitting my kids and I'm never doing this or I'm never doing that. Um, and it started coming up and then I started seeing a therapist and that's the only way I got past it. There's nothing worse than feeling helpless. And as a child, that's what you are. 